Hi everyone! Welcome to the tutorial video for Biplus Recommend SAS, an all-inclusive, easy-to-use platform for you to build recommendations and delight your customers. There are four key steps to get recommendations up and running for your business. Firstly, import and validate data. Secondly, create models. Thirdly, get predictions. And finally, measure performances. In this video, we'll go through each key step in detail. To get started, you can access your console from Biplus official website. Log in to the console with your account details and select Biplus Recommend. The landing page contains a few components. Firstly, a workflow graph. Secondly, a list of your projects. And lastly, a support section with links to documentation and tutorial videos. At any point of time, you can also access the documentation and account info from the top panel. You can manage your projects in the following ways. 1. Search for a project. 2. Create a new project. Note that for beta version, although you can train multiple models within a project, only one of them can be active. So create a new project if you need to run multiple active models online. 3. Edit a project name or description. And 4. Delete a project that's no longer in use. Now let's start to import and validate data. For newly created project, you can see three components on the left. Data, which allows you to import and validate data. Model, which allows you to create and manage models. Insights, which allows you to view performances after a model is deployed online. Note that model and insights are disabled before you complete data import and validation. Now let's take a closer look at the first step, define schema. We require three types of data to be uploaded, user, product, and user event. Under each data type is a list of data fields based on our expertise that work the best for e-commerce use cases. You can add, edit, or remove optional data fields. Note that there are a few compulsory data fields which you have to include. Later on, once you have uploaded data, either through GCS or API, you're not able to modify the defined schema anymore. If needed, you can create another project with a different schema. After submitting the schema, you'll enter the trial data step. Its purpose is to let you verify data quality without waiting too long for data import and validation. Data should be prepared in JSON format according to the schema you defined earlier. Refer to our documentation center for sample data on user, product, and user event. We support two ways to upload data, GCS or API. For GCS upload, you need to specify the file path and paste credentials if the bucket is not public. Remember to follow the file naming conventions listed here. For API upload, you need to install our Biplus Recommend SDK and trigger corresponding data sync APIs. You can follow the API documentation and code samples on our website. Note that a lot of resources are required to build a customized recommendation system. So once an import is triggered, you need to wait for approximately 30 minutes and you'll be reminded once resource provision is completed. After resource is provisioned and data starts to flow in, status will be changed to importing and data validation reports will be generated. You can view importing status by data type, how many records are imported successfully, and how many fail. For failed imports, we also provide error logs for you to investigate further. We have two types of data reports, daily and aggregate. Daily report is by data type. You can view the number of user imports and data quality by field. The same goes for product data. For user events, you can filter by scene, view total imports, breakdown of user events, data volume comparison with previous day, field validation, and join rate checks. Aggregate report contains the number of imports for all three data types, a daily trend for user events, 
and several join rate checks. This is very important as low join rates indicate potential data issues and will fail minimum data requirement when creating models. If you wish to import again, we provide two options. One, overwrite existing user, product, or user events data. This will remove all the data uploaded so far and start fresh. Two, import more user events data. This will only add on to the existing user events data. After testing out data quality, you are required to upload past 90 days historical data to prepare for the model training. Note that depending on data volume, it can take up to two to three days for the data import to complete. The steps are exactly the same as test data. You can import through GCS or API then view validation results. After historical data is imported, you will be redirected to create a model. When creating a new model, take note of these three important concepts. Firstly, model type. Others you may like, which recommend similar or relevant products. Recommended for you, which recommends personalized products that a user is likely to click or convert. Secondly, optimization goal. We support click-through rate, conversion rate, and GMV. Thirdly, scene. This refers to the physical recommendation section in your product interface. For example, the you may also like section on the home page. Each optimization goal, scene, and model type will have different minimal data requirements. You can view these requirements in our documentation center. You can then view and manage all models on this page. Actions include edit description, activate train model, or delete a model. You are also strongly encouraged to synchronize incremental data. This works exactly the same as API upload during historical data import step. With incremental data, changes in user or product and new user event data can be fed into the active model to produce even better recommendation results. After incremental data starts to sync, you can view importing status and updated data reports accordingly. Once the models are created and trained, you can retrieve the recommendation results through our BytePlus Recommend API. You can access API doc link here. There are two types of APIs. Firstly, predict API. You can pass in the scene name, user ID, number of products needed, and model ID to get a list of personalized product recommendations. Secondly, acknowledge server impressions API. You can pass in similar information as predict API together with the actual list of products displayed. Finally, after a model is ready and integrated, you can view model performance from our dashboard. Key metrics like click-through rate, conversion, and GMV are supported. Note that you are strongly encouraged to set up an A-B test to compare this new model against an existing logic to verify the exact uplift brought by ByPlus Recommend. Learn how to conduct an A-B test here. With that, we've come to the end of this tutorial. We hope by now you have your first ByPlus Recommend model up and running. We also provide premium services to help you with data processing, validation, and model training for an even more customized and powerful recommendation. You can visit our official website and sign up. Thank you.